It's a great night for fireworks. What an explosive way to start the new year. It's nice to see all the families here celebrate. FCCLA has helped to inform a lot of people in our small community. Celebrating healthy lifestyles, healthy habits, and of course, a year of new opportunities. Oh look, they stocked up the FCCLA purposes and looks like a lot of planning went into this colorful display. Let's check it out. New year, new trend. This year, the Forsyth FCCLA decided not to hold anything back. Utilizing the FCCLA planning process, we set out to make the lives of the young people healthier. We found they're up to the challenge, and as it turns out, a month of challenges. Identify concerns. A survey showed that the overall health of the Forsyth elementary students needed improvement. 89% of grades K-5 weren't getting enough physical activity, and 40% of the students needed to improve their diet. The Youth First Behavior Survey showed that only 44% of students brush their teeth twice a day. Communicating with the elementary school secretary, we found that 8% of students miss school daily due to illness. We know that children learn through examples, so by recruiting the help of parents and teachers, we felt that we could help preschool through 5th pre -school grade students develop healthier habits. Set a goal. Last stop to FCCLA purpose. To encourage individual and group involvement in helping achieve global cooperation and harmony. It was our goal to teach 20 students in Forsyth Elementary School healthier habits and help them start a new trend for the rest of their year. By developing these healthy habits, students could create a trend of staying healthy and staying in school. I form a plan. Last stop to FCCLA purpose. To prepare for the multiple roles of men and women in today's society. Who? Forsyth Elementary students, teachers and principal, Forsyth at PTSA, Independent Press newspaper, and Kitty Corner Preschool. Don't forget the Rosebud County Health, High School Administration and staff, Rosebud County Sheriff's Office, Child Development students, and Forsyth SCCLA members and advisor. What? First, in order to keep things organized, we used notebook, to-do list, project hub, rough drafts, and emails. Second, Inform elementary students of the effects of unhealthy habits utilizing flyers, presentations, and including hand washing workshops. Third, show elementary students fun and active alternatives to electronics. Fourth, encourage healthy habits by having weekly challenges with prize drawings. Fifth, role model healthy choices. When? October 2012 through February 2013. Where? Forsyth Elementary School and Forsyth Community. How? By holding meetings every Monday and Tuesday, we were able to organize events and coordinate with elementary school teachers, as well as our 20 chapter members. We hope to make these new habits part of their daily routine. Utilizing the media, over 1,200 readers will learn about our project by reading information in the independent press newspaper. The PTSA newsletter was another colorful way of spreading the word for us. Every student in elementary school takes one of these newsletters home. High school students and parents would work together to role model healthy habits, to reinforce the information and educate other audiences. Flyers and coloring sheets were hung up at basketball games and taken to the local doctor's office. Resources. Last stop to FCCLA purpose. To promote greater understanding between youth and adults. Utilizing technology allowed us to communicate with 12 teachers and other groups. It made resolving com scheduling conflicts easier. Act. On October 1st, we started our project off by brainstorming fun ideas and completing parts of our planning process. To purchase prize and supplies, we would need to raise some money. So we sold healthy snacks in between classes and raised $80. As our project continued, we kept track of our spending. To role model healthy habits, we participated in the PTSA Walk to School Day. Every elementary student and teacher, along with all of our chapter members, walked the last two walks to school in the rain, escorted by the county sheriff. At the school, students enjoyed a healthy snack. With our ideas in mind, we approached administration and staff to gain permission and schedule events. We started by giving a survey to see how many hours students spend with electronics every day and how much time is spent in active play. After two weeks of gathering data, interesting results showed that the students needed to improve their activity. The last stop to SSLA purpose. To provide opportunities for making decisions and for assuming responsibilities. We prepared a presentation and lesson plans for third and fourth grade students that focused on the body's need for physical activity. We also created a brain visual to show students what happens to the human brain when you use electronics too much. After the presentation, a survey, a survey found that the activity level had increased. Next, we introduced our Healthy Habits Challenges with the kindergarten, third, and fourth grade students. 
We created calendars for the sign up sheets, then distributed them to the teachers. The calendar showed each week's challenge and required parent involvement in asking for signatures to verify participation. The last stop to SSLA purpose, to strengthen the function of the family as a basic unit of society. To start off our challenges, we ignited with one by replacing TV or computer games with another activity, such as reading a book or going for walks for five days, or go without pop for a full week. To keep this expense for week two, we have the students eat five meals with their families or eat vegetables for five days. To make week three a bang, their challenge was to brush their teeth twice a day all week or help prepare a family meal. To wow the students for week four, we have them eat food for five days or play outside for at least 60 minutes five times a week. Every Wednesday of January, the return challenge slips were then placed into a prize drawing. For the final drawing, all 139 slips were placed in a basket and the grand prize winner was announced. The prize was a basketball signed by the high school basketball teams. It was like lighting a fuse. They were excited. To test the success of the program, we distributed follow-up surveys to the students, teachers, and parents. After reading them, we determined that the kids had a blast doing the project and were excited for each, each week's challenge. Due to an influenza outbreak, we were asked by the Rosewood County Health to do hand washing presentations at the elementary and preschool. Working with the child development, chap child de development chapter members, hand washing lesson plans were created for each grade level and presented. Eight presentations were given to grades preschool through fifth grade. To continue the bang, we distributed coloring sheets at the local doctor's office and hung up flyers before basketball games. The last stop to SSLA purpose to provide opportunities for personal development and preparation for adult life. Follow up. We learned that by role modeling and creating fun presentations, we could positively affect the students. Some of the strategies we used were spoke with teachers, utilized visual aids, recruited parental assistance, used a glow drum presentation, and had a competition. We learned that communicating can be difficult, but by creating partnerships, it allowed us to utilize materials from other agencies at low cost. The last stop to SCCLA purpose, to promote family and consumer sciences, education, and related occupations. The surveys we distributed had some flaws. Some of the students over-exaggerated, so we involved the parents the second time. It was hard for some of the kindergarten students to understand the evaluation sheets. They also had trouble remembering to return their slips. The last stop to SCCLA purpose, to encourage democracy through cooperative action in the home and community. In order to impact preschool through sixth grade, we used the help of high school students and parents to better inform them. The local newspaper published our article allowing us to reach 1,200 readers. We also communicated with the PTSA newsletter, reaching 150 parents and students. By putting up a fact sheet of basketball games, we reached a total of 500 people. Then we took coloring sheets to a doctor's office to influence 300 kids. By doing this project, we impacted a total of 181 preschool through sixth grade students. Due to our presentations, the absences decreased by 3%. Kabang! That was one flashy display of health improvement. Working with all these kids and their families allowed our chapter to, to provide some show-stopping service. Let's celebrate hearing healthy children playing outside and watching this fireworks display. It is an amazing finale to our chapter's hard work and dedication. New Year, New Trend. Blast, Blast off! off.